Time now for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we expose what's really behind the big cultural stories of the day. Why Facebook wants you to send them your nude photos? I, I, can't, I can't believe we're even doing this segment. <laughs> Here to explain all this is New York Times bestselling author of the Wheel Wilder children's series and Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. Okay, uh, what is the story? Facebook wants your nude photos? They want your nude photos preemptively. Well, why do people have nude photos? Well, I, that's a, a bigger question, but they want to fight revenge porn, where people who are in relationships post indiscreet or nude pictures of their partner who when the relationship these ends. Who well, are these people? I'll bet we could name a few, but oh, we yeah. won't. Okay. Um, here's what they want you to do. Submit your photos, the most secretive photos you have, to Facebook. They then encrypt them, they take what they call a fingerprint of the picture, so not the picture itself. They say they don't store the picture. It'll be off the server in a few days, and they will then block that image from ever being posted on Facebook. Here's the problem, Laura. Who's looking at these images? How long are they on the server? And the bigger question, Facebook had a 50 million person breach just last year, they admitted to. In March, they admitted to right. this. How sure are we that they can protect these images and that their employees aren't copying them or they aren't going to? But somewhere? if you have, but what if other people have new photos? That, that, that's well, not going to help. You give your photos that you're keeping of yourself. This whole right, thing. Right. Well, that photo the then end. can't Let's be posted. Let's call this segment, forget seen and unseen, <laughs> the end of civilization segment. Tommy, okay. make a new graphic. Okay, end, the of end of civilization. civilization. Well, Tommy's like, I don't make a graphic. Okay. okay. We should move on. All right. A, a New York man who's 30 years old. Oh, my gosh. Sued his parents, or was sued parents by his sued parents. His par yeah. We call these people boomerang brats. You throw them out to the world, and, <laughs> and then they, they come, come back. back, and they stay at He's home. He's a 30-year-old. He says, look, oh I'm trying God. to be a father. He is a child of his own. He said, I'm trying to be a father. I need to live with mom and dad. They gave him five notices to get out, five eviction notices. They even deprived him, him of food. Finally, he sat with another network and said this. Do we have the audio? We're losing it. Why couldn't you guys resolve this without the court? I would consider uh, much of uh, what they were doing to try to get me out as a tax. A third of millennials, Laura, are at home as a with their parents. Yeah, the parents were attacking him. They asked him to go get a job and get How out of the get house. How about get a haircut? Well, <laughs> looks like cousin it. I mean, that was scary. Here's the scary thing. A third of millennials are at home. This Look has gone up from 25 percent oh. to 34 percent of. Oh, he's stroking his hair. Parents. He's stroking his hair. He doesn't have money for a haircut either. Well, apparently. you know, tough times. Here's what you do to parent: if, if if your kid is threatening to come home after went to college or something, turn the room into a home gym with no couches or anything well, like that. And then the the judge ordered them. By the way, the judge has ruled the kid's got to vacate. The man has to vacate. And they're calling for an investigation by Adult Protective Services. I hope that's for the parent and not for the son. Oh, no. oh now is, the big story of the, the night. End. Okay. Laura. Big story. Stormy Daniels <laughs> is getting a key to, to what? Another stripper today, pole? She, no, no. Today she got the key to the city of West Hollywood. This is the mayor, John Duran. Listen. As you know, Lady Godiva rode naked through the streets of England to protest injustice and taxes. And we have our own Lady Godiva here in the city of West Hollywood. She's held her head up with dignity, and she's fought back. And when she fights back and Mr. Avenatti fights back, they're fighting back for all of us to get our country back into our hands. Now, this is a city that dignity? is Dignity? Did, did he use the word dignity? Yes. They, they have asked How for... How much... Do you spend a lot of time in West Hollywood? They, you know, they've asked on. for impeachment for Donald Trump. And here's what I love about this story. that mayor. Nothing says you're being honored, like getting a key to the city in front of a sex shop owned by a drag queen porn director. This is the level of honor bestowed on Stormy Daniels. And the great star reacted this way. Mm. I'm not really sure what the key opens. I'm hoping it's the wine cellar. This community has a history of standing up to bullies and speaking truth to power. And I'm so very, very lucky to be a part of it. You know, Laura, they said she was a profile in courage. She's a profile in cleavage. I hope that key opens the door to Talbot's so I'm we just, have a I full just, coverage. I just, I just, threw, I just threw my blue for. card in the air. Oh, my God. We didn't even talk about the new NFL policy. No kneeling, $20,000 penalty if any player does it for that club. This is going to change things. Oh, they were losing money. They had to you do bet. something. Thanks, Raymond. Thank Great you. as always.